Hey there, Psych2Goers. We welcome you back to a brand new video. Is there someone you know who's been acting off lately? Did a change in their tone or a shift in their attitude leave you wondering why? Are they dodging your frequent how are you doings or is something wrong? It might be the aftermath of having suffered from a traumatic event or discovering something that deeply pains them. In this case, it's normal for them to activate an invisible shield against you or anyone for that matter, as their primary defense mechanism. Please note that this video is not made to target those who may display these signs or make them feel bad about themselves. Rather, it's to understand them and bring more awareness to the topic. So here are seven signs someone is hiding their pain from you. Number one, they're always busy. Are they profusely working out, filling their calendar with many recreational activities or doing loads of work without resting? Instead of confronting whatever is troubling them, humans may choose to keep themselves busy mentally and physically. For them, mental exhaustion replaces the negative thoughts that occur in their mind, allowing them to procrastinate dealing with their emotional struggles. In a way, these mental and physical activities can result in positive outcomes, such as a healthier body or higher income. However, after long periods of time, they might develop unhealthy mindsets or subconscious anxiety it's better to encourage them to confront their issues as soon as possible so that they can continue on with life without feeling burdened all the time. Number two, they isolate themselves from their closest people. Have they started to avoid speaking with you or being near you? If so, it certainly isn't you or anything you did. Withdrawing from those who matter the most to us is a common coping mechanism. Perhaps they don't wanna become a burden or be emotionally exhausted by revealing their issues. Disconnecting with others may bring a temporary peace of mind, but when the emotional scars resurface, they might be left dealing with the trauma on their own, only because they hope to bring you as little trouble as possible. In this case, it's important to let them know of your kind intentions and that they're welcome to share their thoughts when they feel comfortable. A transparent, non-judgmental relationship is one that will be long-lasting. Number three, their personality changes. Did you notice slight changes in their behavior? how they carry themselves, or their general attitude. When you ask them if anything is wrong, do they just brush it off as nothing? Relating to the previous point, it helps when you create a welcoming atmosphere when being around them. Inform them that you care about their emotional needs and that you're willing to be a loyal listener. Otherwise, they may continue this newly developed persona, refusing to share any of their intrusive thoughts or critical life experiences. Also, only be worried if their personality change has occurred for a long period of time. It's normal for humans to feel different emotions and thus act differently from day to day. Number four, they become angry over trivial matters. Do they blow up over insignificant things? Perhaps you make a lighthearted joke or accidentally look at them in an odd way, thinking you know them well enough to feel like those actions are acceptable, but then they lash out at you, taking you completely by surprise. They even bring up grudges you never thought existed. It might feel uncharacteristic of them, the hurt might leave you reeling. This is because hidden feelings lead to misdirected anger. So it's easy to mistake their sensitive emotions for pettiness. It is important to understand that their anger is rooted in a much deeper problem and work towards rooting it out in a non-imposing way. Number five, they have an overly optimistic attitude. Sounds self-contradicting to the previous ones, right? However, these individuals may play at both ends of the spectrum. Now, optimism does contribute to psychological well-being and confidence, yes. However, being overly optimistic and forming unrealistic expectations as a frequent habit is not good. They always put a positive spin on their life obstacles, no matter how difficult the situation may be. They may show no negative emotions whatsoever, even when they fail in overcoming the obstacle. In psychology, we call it optimism bias, being wired to stay positive as a coping mechanism it's important to recognize that feeling down, sad, and exhausted are normal, acceptable feelings. In fact, crying, an action usually involved with sadness, releases toxins and many stressful hormones, helping the individual gain emotional stability faster. Number six, they choose flight over fight. Have they started fleeing out of many social situations? Out of the blue, are they ignoring your phone calls, leaving a video chat extremely early on, or wanting to end relationships. By avoiding specific situations, they avoid facing the anxiety or emotional trauma elicited by the things within this situation. While it's crucial to give this individual some time on their own, perhaps to charge their social battery, 
checking in on them often and being persistent in your efforts helps them overcome their dread. When they regain their momentum and eventually confront their issues, they'll certainly thank you in the long run for being the stable emotional pillar that they always needed. And number seven, they're taken over by irrational fear and anxiety. This sign may frighten you the most. Do they present an unusual amount of fear? When you ask them about the source of this fear, do they stutter and fail to provide a realistic response? Repressed emotional pain can resurface in the form of paranoia and anxiety. When experiencing irrational fear, the individual may start to notice the minuscule details. Their perception may become clouded, which only enhances their sense of anxiety. They develop a chronically negative mindset, pointing out the flaws in every aspect of their life. Reassuring them of your love and care for them shows them that you accept them for who they are and their circumstances. If you become concerned about someone's behavior change, be sure not to fret. This only shows that you truly care about them and are willing to help out. When reassuring them and affirming your support for them, remember to take note of your own mental health as well. It's normal to feel slightly down or offended when you discover someone you care about is hiding something from you. Spark a conversation, maintain transparency, and your bond with them will be stronger than ever before. Have you been noticing these signs lately? If so, do you think this helped you recognize and cope with them? Feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there baffled at another's change in behavior. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.